The universe is a very dangerous place. Most of these dangers are familiar to us. Things like tornadoes, hurricanes, you know, Category 5 hurricanes bearing down in Florida, wildfires, or the idea of an asteroid or a comet slamming into the Earth and causing devastation. But some of these dangers are a little less known to us. That is why I want to introduce you to the awesome and terrible power of a gamma ray burst. A gamma ray burst is created when a star at least two and a half times the mass of our sun runs out of fuel at its core and collapses under the force of gravity. And when this happens, this star will form, well, it'll go into supernova and then will form a black hole. But during that collapse process, a gamma ray burst can be born. This is when twin beams of energy are shot out of the north and south pole in the star like lasers across the universe full of gamma rays, x-rays, highly charged particles. They just get launched out into space. These happen all the time. We actually get attacked about 100 gamma ray, gamma ray bursts every year. The reason why they're not destroying us is because they're not even in our own galaxy. They are in galaxies spread across the entire universe. Some of these up to halfway across the known universe. We're talking two or three billion light years away. The question though is what would happen if one of these went off inside our own Milky Way and happened to be pointed at us? A lot of interesting things. So this laser beam would hit our atmosphere or slam into it. And these highly charged particles would interact with our atmosphere and create a little thing called a muon. Most of us probably have not heard of a muon. They're actually common. The sun generates them all the time, but in low quantities. This would create so many muons that would shower the earth it would deliver a 10 times lethal dose of radiation to everybody that was on the half of the Earth that was facing this beam. So right away, within minutes and hours at most, half the planet is wiped out. But let's say you're on the other side of the planet. You're fine, right? Not really. <laughs> There's a few other effects that will come into play. The first is our ozone layer would get absolutely shredded. About a third of the ozone layer would get ripped away which would let the ultraviolet radiation from the sun start to penetrate and hit the ground in much larger quantity than it currently does. This isn't terrible for us immediately, but it is devastating to the algae, the bacteria that make up the bottom of our food chain and are very sensitive to ultraviolet radiation. So the entire bottom of the food chain would get wiped out across the entire planet, not just the side that got hit. And then that devastation would work its way up the food chain the next level stars, the next level stars, pretty soon it reaches humans. There are also a couple nasty chemicals that get created in our atmosphere. The first one is nitric acid. Our atmosphere would get suffused with nitric acid, which causes acid rain. This is not the little acid rain you get over New York on a smoggy day. This is clouds covering the entire world, shattering acid rain on the ground for months on end, everywhere. Anything that wasn't killed by the initial blast or isn't already starving to death is going to get showered with acid rain and we'll be good. That's not all. That's not all. It would also create clouds of nitrogen dioxide in the atmosphere. Nitrogen di dioxide is about this kind of an ugly orange brown color and it would cover the entire planet. It would change it from a pretty blue planet to an ugly one, like, more like Venus. This would serve to block out a significant portion of the sun's energy about 15%. This sounds nice to us since we're in Arizona, it's hot all the time, but it would plunge the Earth into an ice age. Those polar ice caps would expand dramatically, burying all of North America, all of Northern Europe in what could be kilometers of ice sheets. Wow. It's just not pretty. <laughs> the reality is that if we get hit by a gamma ray, gamma ray burst of this magnitude, it is a matter of weeks, months at most, for everything on the planet, at least on the surface of the planet, is wiped out. But don't despair, because these are actually very rare within our own galaxy. There is a star that's relatively close to us called Eta Carinae. It is plenty large to create a gamma ray burst. It will supernova sometime soon. Luckily, it's not pointed at us. Remember, these beams come out of the poles two very narrow beams, and so we're out of danger for that one. There's another star that's maybe at two or 3,000 light years beyond that that is pointed at us, and it is large enough and will go supernova eventually, 
but probably not for a few million or even, maybe even tens of millions of views. So also there, we're pretty safe. The problem is we can't survey every star in the sky. There's a lot we can't see, or that we're not aware of how close you are to going supernova. So it is very possible that there's a star there that's just the wrong alignment and just the wrong stage, that it'll go supernova and we'll shoot a fiery death ray at Earth like everybody else. <laughs> All we can do is go about our lives, do the best we can, and hope that one of these loaded guns of the universe are not pointed directly at us. Thank you.